So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad ignition coil, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad ignition coil and how you go about telling if it has failed. And so first of all, what is an ignition coil? Well, the ignition coil basically just uses the battery voltage to make a higher voltage that's required by the spark plugs to ignite the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. Because basically each cylinder needs air and fuel to go in and then it needs to be ignited by a spark. And so the ignition coil is working with the spark plug to give the spark. And there can be some differences in how a coil is packaged. Mainly there's going to be either a coil pack like this, where there's one big coil and all the spark plugs are going to it. This is called a coil pack. Or each cylinder is going to have its own coil. And these are called ignition coils. And sometimes these terms can be used interchangeably since they're basically doing the same thing. But technically with an ignition coil, each cylinder is going to have its own coil. While with the coil pack, it's just going to be one big packaged unit. But keep in mind they're doing the same things and they'll have the same symptoms if they go bad. And the symptoms of a bad ignition coil are going to be more noticeable at low speeds. This is very common because one of the cylinders is not working correctly, but it's usually much more noticeable when the engine's idling or when the engine's at a lower RPM. And so what are some symptoms of a bad or failing ignition coil? Well, first of all, since one or more of the cylinders isn't working, the engine's going to have less power. So you go to step on the gas, it's just not going to want to go. This is going to vary a bit depending if you have a four cylinder or six cylinder or eight cylinder engine, because an eight cylinder engine is going to be able to run better if only one cylinder is not working. While a four cylinder engine, if one of its cylinders is not working, it's going to be very noticeable. The engine's not going to want to run well at all. But sometimes with an eight cylinder engine, when you have a bad ignition coil, you can't even really tell that it's gone bad. But the engine's going to have a lack of power. Very likely the check engine light's going to come on or some kind of message is going to come on the dashboard. This is very common. Since one or more of the cylinders is not working correctly, you're going to get worse fuel economy. It may be hard to start. You go to try to start the engine and it's taking longer to start up. The engine might start stalling out. Again, this is going to be more common with like a four-cylinder engine than an eight-cylinder engine, but stalling out is very common. And when one of the engine coils isn't working correctly, it's going to be doing what's called misfiring. And so how can you test if an ignition coil has failed? Well, first thing to do, if possible, is to scan for any error codes that might be on the computer, especially if you have an engine light on, because this will help point you to what the issue is, and it can also point you to which cylinder is having the problem. Because when the coil goes bad, it's very common to get misfire codes. And misfire codes are going to point to which cylinder is having the issue. For example, if you get a P0301 code, that's going to be cylinder number one, P0302, cylinder number two, P0303, that's going to be cylinder number three. So the first thing to do, if possible, is go scan the onboard computer for any error codes. If you don't have a scan tool, many automotive stores will come out and scan the codes for free. There's also a lot of low-cost units on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But first thing to do, if possible, is scan for any error codes. And there's going to be some different ways you could troubleshoot this, especially when you know which cylinder is having the problem. A very common method is to swap out the coil and see if the problem follows. So for example, say you're getting a P0301, which is cylinder number one. So you take the coil out of the number one cylinder and you swap it with number two. You clear the codes and then you get a P0302. Then you know that ignition coil is bad. So swapping out the coils, that's very common. Another method is that with the engine running is that you pull the coils out one at a time and there should be a change in the way the engine's idling. Because if that cylinder is working, it's going to be helping the engine to run good. But if you pull a coil out that's not working, there's not going to be no change in the idle. So quite often a mechanic will go along to each coil and just pull it out and see if there's a change in the engine idle when it's running. And if there's no change on it, then they'll look more into that coil. Another thing you could do is examine the coils for any cracks or anything like this. It's very common for these to get cracked and stop working. Or sometimes oil can even get on them and it can stop them from working correctly. So you can pull them out and check to see if they got a lot of grease or oil on them. But basically just check to see if there's any physical damage to it. Another method is you check to see if it has any spark coming from it. And there's a few ways to do this. Some people hold it really close to a ground and see if the spark jumps. The method I like to use is to use a tester tool because these are real cheap. These are like less than $10. I'll put a link down below if you need one. And basically the way these work is that one side goes to the spark plug and the other side goes to the ignition coil. Then you start the engine and you check to see if there's any spark inside of here. Because when it's sparking, you'll see it inside the tool. And if there's no spark, then you know that ignition coil is bad and needs to be replaced. What you want to see is you want to see like a real bright bluish color. If you see that, then you know that coil's good. If there is a spark in there, but it's really faint or has an orange color to it, then quite often that means that that coil's becoming weak and it's not putting out a good spark like it used to. And so it's starting to go bad. And at that point, it would be a good idea to replace too. But another very common test method is to check to see if it's getting any spark. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad ignition coil and how you go about telling if it has failed. 
If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. This video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.